Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace review. Today we're going to be going over the modular building system and this one looks absolutely fantastic and it is $10. So this modular building system is an advanced component based building system that saves you countless hours of programming. Start focusing your time on programming gameplay built off of the backbone of this advanced system. As you can see in the video on screen now, this looks perfect, it is just that basic modular building system which you need and what you see in many different games. So this is also very easy to build upon and customise for your own needs as well. So this component based building system can be imported into any Unreal Engine 5 project within a matter of minutes. So that's important to note, this is only supported at the moment on 5 and 5.1, this is not in Unreal Engine 4 and I'm not too sure if there's any future plans to do that at the moment. But if you're making a game in UE5, this will work perfectly for you. There is also a guide which you can follow so you can actually set this up because obviously this might be a little bit complex for a lot of people. So there is an in-depth guide showing you how you can use this and how to set it up and how it all works. On top of that guide, there will also be future tutorials and guides on expanding this modular building system to fit the needs of any project. So this was released on March 15th of this year and the developer has future plans to keep expanding upon this as well for example in the tutorials and guides so you can really get the most out of it. Some technical details of this are it features component based snap points, snapped place, free place and rotate objects, different connection sizes, you can import custom models, pick up, place, drop and throw objects and it also has in-game building. So this isn't just modular for the editor, this is also a modular building system you can use in-game as well. In total, there are 23 blueprints, and the input for this is keyboard and mouse, so this is not console, and it is also not network replicated. So at the moment, this is only for single player. On the Marketplace page, you will also find some documentation on how to use this. For example, the controls, which are nice and easy. It's just left mouse button, Q and E, and F and G. You have the different blueprint classes, how to import your own custom model to then use that with this system so you don't just have to use the models provided you can create your own modular building kit for example let's say it's a house and then you can use that with this system so the player can then build a house using your models and this system if you're using your own models you will obviously need to add in snap points or you might want to change where the snap point is on a different object in the model as well so you can choose how this is all going to work and how they're all going to snap together and you can also change the snap point variables. For example, the snap size limits and the snap priority. So once again, this looks absolutely fantastic and there's lots of information on here as well for how you can use this in your own projects. I've had a play about with it and it does feel very nice and very fluid to actually work. It is very user friendly. There is one written review, which I'll go over now. It is five stars titled, Finally Someone Made This Amazing. I've probably spent too much time building cool things and developing with this system. I've been waiting for a system like this for ages and it's finally here. So as you can see, this system does work. It's what people are already after, it's what people want and this person gave it five stars. There are also three of three questions answered. So let's go over some of these now. Does it support skeletal meshes? So does it only work with static meshes or can I also use skeletal meshes? So the publisher has said, the parent class is set up with a static mesh component as its root. I did this because the system does a physics collision check to determine if an object is overlapping or not. The added complexity with a skeletal mesh can be dealt with and can be used instead of the static mesh, but you'll have to manually extend the system to do so. So essentially, that is possible, but it's not set up by default. You'll have to do it yourself, but it's not out of the question. You can definitely do it. Another question is connected parts. This system is something that made me have some ideas. If, for example, I built a car or a similar one, would I be able to know which parts would already be connected? The publisher has said, each actor has an array of child actors connected to it. So yes, the root object has an array of all the child actors connected to it. From that array, you can grab the parts you need, such as your wheels, thrusters, etc., and provide input to them as you need. So essentially, yep, you can see what parts are already connected. And the final question is multiplayer. Is it easy to make a multiplayer component with this system, and can I implement slash migrate it to another building system? The publisher has said, you can make this system multiplayer and migrate it into your other projects. So again, by default, it isn't multiplayer, but you can definitely do it yourself. So like I said at the beginning, it's incredibly easy to advance upon and expand this system to your own custom and specific needs. This is just the foundation, it is the backbone of a modular building system, which you can then take, build upon and expand it to whatever it is that you want. But for the foundation, this is absolutely amazing. 
So again, just a quick summary, this is the modular building system, which is an advanced component based building system, which will save you countless hours. It is all snap into place, so everything will snap together. It is $10 and it's supported on Unreal Engine 5 and 5.1 at the time of this video's release. So I think that'll be it for this video covering this asset and reviewing it. I hope you did enjoy it and obviously there will be a link in the description down below to where you can get this system. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.